Oi! Oi! I'm up here! Motorhome Diaries 4. What to look out for when you buy an older used motorhome. Right, as you can see, we've got rust here, and if you take it off... Okay, Motorhome Diaries 4. What we're going to do today is we're going to have a look um, at what you need to look out for when you're buying a used older motorhome. So rather than lying on the floor, and showing in and getting dirty. I've come to A to B garage and A to B actually do all our servicing mechanic work and everything to do with the motorhomes. I will put a link in the description box below. So we're going to have a look at the motorhome, we're going to get it up on a ramp and we're going to give you an idea of what to look out for when you go to buy a used motorhome. So this is going to be our case example. Um, it's a camper van, it's a 2002 on a 52 plate. So we're going to guide you through what to look out for um, so when you're buying your motorhome. Right, as you can see on this 2002 camper van, um, it's done 69,000 odd miles. Um, the spanner light there is indicating, indicating that it's due for a service. So we'll switch her off and switch her on to make sure all the lights go out. And there we've got no fault lights on at all. Okay, one of the first things you need to do is to take the motor home for a test drive or the camper van. Um, and the reason for that is obviously one, to make sure it drives okay. There's no funny noises or bangs. And more importantly, it's more common on the Fiat and Peugeots, normally pre-2002, that second and third gear crunch. If they crunch, stay away from it. And one of the main reasons why they crunch is through water ingress into the gearbox. Um, and what happens is people don't clean the scuttles, so in winter time you get the leaves building up and then when it rains, the rain goes over the, over the leaves and drops into the, over the scuttle and then drops into the engine and onto the gearbox. Um, so if you haven't got a pre-2002 um, uh, Fiat or a Persia motor, make sure your scuttle's clean all the time. Well, that's one of the reasons with the gearbox problem. Now the other thing you need to have a look for is service records and just check through that it's been serviced when it should have been serviced. But the main one is cam belts. Now cam belts should be changed roughly every five years or 60,000 miles. Uh, but because motorhomes don't do the mileage that cars do, we normally tend to go off five years. And that's where people get a little bit confused. They look at the mileage rather than how long ago it was actually changed. So now we're coming to the engine side. What you need to be doing is just having a general check over, just making sure there's no bad corrosion. Um, you might get a little bit because obviously the age of the vehicle, but just make sure it's not too bad. General check of all your levels, uh, making sure there's antifreeze in the water. And then the main one is your oil cap. And if you take it off and if you find any white sludge on it, it's the sign of a head gasket going. So your next thing really is what you're doing is generally checking for any oil leaks or any leaks underneath the, the camper van or motorhome. And then what we also need to be doing is checking tyres for any perishing um, and also for the, for the age as well. And on this one, it's 2009. So that's 11 years old this tyre is. So that's something we'd be replacing. And it wouldn't be one, it'd be four of them that you've got to replace. Um, another check is just a general check around for any corrosion and also any corrosion on the wheel arches, but we'll show you that in a minute when we go up on the ramp. <sighs> That's better. Saves me having to bend down. Anyway, on camper vans more than motorhomes, you need to be checking your sills. So if you see on this camper van, we've got rust here, we've got a bit of rust here, we've got rust here, and what's worse, we've got rust here. So what we're gonna have to do here then, we're going to have to cut this out and weld some new metal back in again. So one of the most common places for corrosion is under the wheel arches. Um, now you probably won't be able to see this on the ground, so you will have to get your hand up inside and have a feel about. But as you can see, it's just starting to go, so that will need taking a look at. And now if you take a look just down here now, 
we have got a bit more serious corrosion and rust here now as you can see the hole and that definitely needs taking a look at now another common place for rusting is the jacking points which are just behind the front wheels so if you can see that there there's your rust and again that i'll need looking at another common part um, at the front of the engine underneath the radiator this is the cross member and um, this is actually quite good this one's all right really okay here's a summary um take it for a test run check your service records check your cam belt um check for any leaks and then check around the, the spots for rust you can go on forever checking and checking and don't forget you're looking at a 20 year old 22 year old motorhome there are going to be bits of rust what you're looking for is extensive rust that's going to cost you an arm and a leg okay that's a quick basic summary of what to look for when you go out and buy an older camper van or motorhome um, just to give you a quick insight of what to look out for um, if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to us if there's any videos that you want to see or any questions you want to ask um, let us know in the comments and we'll look forward to seeing you next time